Hello friends, welcome to my channel Organetic. The Conmary method for folding clothes has one of many of our hearts. But today I'm going to show you 18 alternative clothes folding techniques that save our drawer and closet space. If you like videos about home organization, please subscribe to my channel and let's begin! Let's begin with the pouch folding method. Fold about one third of the shirt forward, then flip it over. Fold the sides towards the center then turn the t-shirt into a pouch. The advantage of this folding method is that the pouch holds its shape. Unlike the KonMari folding method, it is more stable in a pouch when we stack things vertically. Let's run a test. The result is obvious. Now let's move on to folding pajamas. Spread it out and fold the bottom. Put the shorts or pants in the center, fold the side edges inwards, then fold the top and the bottom edges, then turn it into a pouch. You can also use this method to fold underwear. Spread the panties out, Fold the top part towards the center, flip it over, fold the sides inward and then turn it into a pouch. Simple as that. Now I'm going to show you how to use this method on kids' jeans. Fold the waist forward, flip them over, fold the legs together, wrap them up. Finally, as usual, secure the folding by turning it into a pouch. Here is how it turned out. Here is an alternative way of folding jeans into a pouch. The folding is secure and compact. This folding method is especially useful for folding kids' clothes or when packing for a trip because it's less likely to unfold even when the kids take the clothes out of the wardrobe themselves. I personally find that hanging clothes on hangers is the easiest and simplest way to store them. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for everything. Sometimes it happens that a hanger stretches out the shoulders of a sweater and the whole thing loses its shape. That's why I'd like to show you an extremely easy way of storing that is also gentle on your sweater. To do this, lay it out, fold it in half and place a hanger in a way that the hook is in the armpit area. Next, simply shove both parts of the sweater through the hanger and voila! Now the sweater won't be stretched out for sure. Here is another cool way to hang clothes. First shove the sweater itself through the hanger, then the sleeves. Look how it turned out! Simple, nice and secure. As for heavy jerseys, they can be hung in an unusual way. This time the sleeves go first with a seam resting on a hanger. Well, that's pretty much it. That's what we got. Next on the list, bulky clothes like a coat or a jacket. Fold the sleeves horizontally twice towards the center, then fold the bottom, tucking the top part inside it. There you have it, a neat rectangle that doesn't need a hanger. This method also works for packing in a suitcase. In order to hold the hoodie, use the following method. Fold it twice, starting from the bottom all the way to the hood. Then fold the sleeves on top. Next, fold the sides towards the center and wrap everything inside the hood. By the way, folding a blazer is easy as well.
This next method of folding will work for those who store their jeans horizontally. Fold the waist towards the center, wrap up the leg a few times, tuck it inside the waist and fold everything in half. This neat stack is ready for a shelf. And this is how you can fold a shirt. First fold the sides vertically towards the center, then fold the top and then the bottom. Secure everything by tucking the sleeves inward one by one. If you need your clothes to take up less space, for example when going on a trip, wrap it in a bundle. To do this first, lay out the longest and most likely to crumble clothing items on a bed. Then lay out shorter clothes that are less likely to crumple on top. Jeans can be folded using a previously mentioned method and use them as the so-called core of the bundle. Put the socks together and turn them into a pouch, then place them on top of the core. Finally, fold the sleeves and the bottoms of the clothes. The bundle now can be moved to a backpack, a bag or a suitcase. Another way is to simply roll up the clothes. There is a big advantage to this method. It is quicker than folding everything separately, plus the clothes wrinkle less. As an option, make a few bundles, sorting them out. This will make it easier to navigate in the suitcase. If you like this video, please show it to me by hitting the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you next week. Bye-bye!